what's your initial thoughts? Just kind of just looking over some of that. Yeah. Never seen them kind of numbers in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Especially with my name right beside it. When I first seen it, I was like, yo, all right, this is what it's going to be. You know, we still, you know, I haven't countered this yet. We was like, nah, this is not what we need to fix this. We got to make sure they guarantee money. This ain't the NBA, you know, like, when you see they, <laughs> right. they hit, that's 100%. You so we need to fix this. This is how this works. This is how this works. I'm just like, just let me know whatever you're going to do. I mean, you've been doing this for a long time. I'm just play my role of working out and just letting you figure everything out. Even if you got a big number, initial number, or whatever, you got to make sure that you got the right guarantee structure. And there's different nuances to, the, to this negotiation. So I told him today, like, you got to make sure you stay patient. Just keep working out, doing your thing, staying positive. Uh, I actually was kind of anticipating them kind of being a little lower because sometimes teams want to do that and creep their way up, creep their way up throughout negotiations. I feel like they came out like that because the short period of time that we got. Yeah. And you know, yeah. practice starting here in about 13 days. So, yeah. You know, not spending a lot of time with Trey this past summer. I kind of wanted it done then, but you know what I'm saying? Everything don't work out in your favor. And we still working. And you know what I'm saying? Uh, we still going to make a push. I'm going to get back with him probably in the next couple of days once I flush all these numbers on this initial offer and kind of let him know kind of comparison to some of the other top wide receiver deals before I actually count on them. And so uh, he'll be a part of that. You know, he'll make the final call on that, which he always does. I wanted to get them to the point where they say, listen, man, we ain't got no more money. And they basically saying, take it or leave it. That's ultimately what we're trying to get to with this negotiation. Right. When we get to that point, then you got a decision to make. Hey, I'm going to take this or what I'm going to do then. And that's what we ultimately get to. You got any questions about anything? Definitely ain't got no questions. I trust you, buddy. Everybody's watching and, and waiting to see what happens with his contract. Um, but I can tell you this, we don't get distracted by the noise, that, the outside noise. My whole concentration is making sure that when the time comes, that he's financially secure the rest of his life.